In this video, you'll learn the basics of global search module in Synergy Viva. The global search window is here at the top of the Synergy Viva program, and you can see it wherever you are in the program. Here we are in repertory module. Here we are in reference library. Here we are in patient management, and this window doesn't go away. It stays here. You can access it anywhere you are in the program. When you're utilizing global search, you have the opportunity to choose. Do I want to search my repertories? Do I want to search my reference library? These two choices. You can search them together or one at a time. If you happen to own the Synergy Genie module, then you can also choose to do an AI search. And what that would do is search all three. You would search in your repertories, you would search in your reference library, and you would also have an ability to do an AI search with your query. So you'd have all three. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to stick to these top two categories. So in this type to search window, this is where you'll type a query. And each query will be searched in repertories and references. Let's say you want to find all materials on fear of the dark. You want to find the rubrics in your repertories, and you want to find fear of the dark in your references as well. Type these two words. The drop-down menu will appear. You don't need to use it. It's there for your convenience if you're not sure how to spell something or if you want to look for a different related word. This drop-down menu can be used for that reason. It's also very good when you're filtering, which I'll come to later. Once you've typed your query, you can activate the query by coming over here and clicking on this magnifying glass. Also, you can activate a query by clicking the return or enter key on your keyboard. Your query result comes into the search module in Synergy Viva. And you can see the query here on this tab. And it came in on repertories, which is what we're looking at first, as well as reference library, because we chose to look in both. Let's go back to the Repertories tab for just a moment. Each book that you see here on the left has a result from your search query. So all of these repertories are going to have rubrics related to Fear of the Dark. And right now we're looking at Reliable Repertory, the Mind Chapter. Here's a good rubric right here. But you can take any one of these rubrics. If you see multiples that you want to take, you can certainly hold down the Command or the Control key and select as many as you want. Once you hit return or enter on a Windows computer, those rubrics will go to your clipboard. If you have a situation where you want to take all the rubrics that you're looking at on the screen in the right pane to a clipboard, then you would come over here. You see there are 11 that you could take to a clipboard in this instance. And by clicking on this clipboard with a plus sign, those 11 rubrics would go onto your clipboard. And let's say that you wanted to look in another repertory for a different result. Just click on the repertory. Here you see that you see mind and vision. Each query result comes in by chapter. And so Fear Dark also has a result in the vision chapter of the complete 2024. Going back to the mind chapter, however, you can scroll down, find your rubric that you want, select it, and again, hit return or enter to put that rubric onto a clipboard. I'm going to stick with the Repertories tab for just a moment and show you these other icons over here. We know that the clipboard with a plus sign will add all the rubrics to your clipboard. In this instance, 20 rubrics would go onto your clipboard if I clicked here. You also have the ability to filter in your result. If you click on this filter icon, you can filter for Repertories, Author, Kingdom, Remedy, Section, or Grade. You can also use a custom filter if you've created one up here in Advanced Search. So for instance, if you wanted to filter for a kingdom here in this result, let's say that you wanted to filter for the Solanaceae family. You can do that. Choose any or all of the above options here you have for Solanaceae. Okay, and hit Apply. And now you're looking at the rubrics that have Solanaceae remedies in those rubrics only. You can see the example here in the Reliable Repertory, in the Complete, or any of these repertories, it would be the same thing. 
to turn off your filter, you simply come, click the purple circle, and you're back to looking at all the remedies in these rubrics in your search result. This icon right here allows you to look at the rubrics in descending or ascending order. Right now, you're looking at ascending order, meaning the smallest rubrics are at the top on down to the largest ones. If you prefer, you can look at those in descending order. Now you're looking at the largest rubric down to the smallest one. And that other option here is the default, which is the order that you would find these rubrics within a repertory. When you're finished looking for rubrics in the repertories, you can pop over to your reference library tab and see the result that has come out of your Materia Medica. In this instance, the words fear and dark were searched next to each other, not counting those smaller words like prepositions and conjunctions. All in all, 297 remedies were found in this query out of 1,656 references. Each one of these lines represents one of those references. And over here on the left side, it's the list of remedies in alphabetical order. So let's say you were curious to see if a remedy was there. You can type to search for it if this tick mark is under the word remedy on the left pane here. Let's look for stramonium. And there you are only looking at the stramonium result from this query in your references. And it's reflected here one remedy, and there's 64 references. You can also search via section. If you just X out of here and make that tick mark go under the section, you can look in a specific section. You can also look in a specific book. Just click on books to make that tick mark move over to books, and then you can search for one specific reference. And again, to clear this window, you simply click on the X. To take this entire result to a clipboard, you can do that. You simply come over here, click on this clipboard with a plus sign, just as you saw it in the repertory tab. You simply click here, and now those remedies from this search result have been added to your clipboard, and they show up RL-S. You can also filter here in this reference tab. Open up the filter. Let's go look for Solanaceae again. And we're going to hit apply. And now we're only looking at those Solanaceae remedies in this search result. You can also pick and choose certain references that you want to go to the clipboard. You just simply come over here and you tick here if that's what you want to do. And to turn this filter off, I'm going to click on the purple circle. Why is there this plus sign here? This plus sign is to open a search in a new tab. So let's X out of this search and let's go look for cough, morning, dry. I'm going to open this search in another tab by clicking on the plus sign. So I won't click here on the magnifying glass and I won't click the return key on my keyboard or enter if you're Windows. So we're gonna click on the plus sign. And now you can see this is the second tab here in the search module. And as I mentioned before, the result comes in chapter by chapter. So if you're not liking what you see in the throat internal chapter here, you can go down to cough and you'll probably get a lot bigger result in the cough chapter in this particular instance. And you can go down to any of these books, and again, you will get a result from the search query in any book that you see here on the left. Let's look at the icons here to the right of the global search window. We have this icon here. It gives you a search history. This is the filtering icon and you have to choose repertories or reference library. Where do you want to filter? You have to decide one or the other when you're using this filter icon here. 
So if we want to do um, a filter in the repertories, let's stick with the Solanaceae theme. Choose them. Apply. And the purple circle appears when you have a filter placed. And now I'm going to run this search again with the filter. And now you're only looking at a result that has those Solanaceae remedies in any of these books. To turn the filter off, I'm going to click on the purple circle. Let's look at this next icon. It's the add proximity icon. I want to say a few words about searching for rubrics and searching for Materia Medica information. When you're searching for rubrics, it's always a good idea to keep things simple up here in the global search window. Two, three words. We have fear dark, cough morning dry. That's how you find the rubrics. The rubrics are not impacted by these proximity words at all. You can add these numeric proximities and still find your rubrics. But a lot of these proximity terms will not allow you to find rubrics. For instance, let's say we wanted to find cough morning dry in the same remedy as fear dark. Now I used a keyboard shortcut. I pressed my spacebar five times to get this remedy proximity term. I can also come over here and say in the same remedy, just click there and I get the same thing. In the same remedy as fear dark. And you don't want any extra spaces up here in global search, so don't hit the spacebar unless you mean it. Let's run this search and I'm going to show you what I mean. As you can see, we skipped straight over the repertory tab. There is no result. This is too complex. This query is too complex for rubrics. And so we jumped straight to the reference library for that result. See, if I click here, no result. So it jumped straight to reference library. And again, these terms are excellent if you're looking in your Materia Medica. It helps you to hone in on those symptoms that you are truly trying to find. If you word your query correctly, utilizing those proximity terms, you can really hone in on just the symptoms that you're looking for and not bring in a lot of excess. There's a lot to cover here, and I highly recommend that you look in the manual to fully understand what all of these mean. To access the manual, you simply click on this question mark. You're taken to the global search section of the manual, and you can read all about these proximity terms here on page four. I'll show you an example of one other proximity term. I'm going to X out of this. I'm going to say fearful. And I'll come over here and I'm going to use the exact word proximity term, which puts an ampersand in front of the word. And I'll hit search here. Come over to the reference library side. And I'm only looking at the word fearful. And this is the one icon we have not explored yet. It's to look for related words and synonyms. I'm going to quickly show one more thing. Let's put in another query. Washing eruption aggravates. Now, what if I wanted to filter this query in both repertories and references? If you do want to filter in both, you can do so up here in the window if it's a simple filter. I'm going to filter once again for the Solanaceae 
and I'm waiting for that drop down so I can see exactly how to filter here and how to spell it. This is where you use the drop down the most frequently. So I'm going to choose the Solanaceae family and I'm going to hit return or the search icon here. And now you see that under repertories tab, my rubrics have the Solanaceae remedies in all the books and over in reference library as well. We're looking at a result that contains that filter. And to return to all the remedies, you simply click the purple circle again. I hope this video has been very helpful to you. Thanks for watching.